You owe me five million. The questions are complicated, but the answers are simple. Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brooke Rock, going live with the Breed Talk and Bay Squad. We got to talk, but before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my favorite vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? See, I told y'all, Bay Squad, that Erica wanted that man back, and y'all was like, Bree, you don't know what you're talking about. And look at this, in 4K, all on his IG stories him boot up with his baby mama okay at the usher show they've been doing promos together now they all lovey dovey because they spin in the block because they saw nelly and the rest of these fools getting back together child make it make sense make it make sense what in the co-parenting hell is this okay for those in the back who was like brie you just don't understand okay it's given they doing the forbidden tango if you let me tell her but moving on to the next I done, my mom, I done lost relationship with my mom and everything. I don't give a damn. You think I'm dropping this lawsuit? I swear to God, I ain't. You know how I said. <laughs> Forge my signature on a $10 million contract. On a contract, of the, the, C, the CEO gets half for whatever sign. You forged my contract. You can't don't get no dirty than that. Then he did it two or three times. He did it like two times. Man, forgery not no game, man. Then when the scientific writing experts came and I showed them the forgery, when I signed mine, they said, Mr. Hatch, that is Ooh, forgery. child. Ain't no fun when the family feuds. And that's definitely the truth. But Boosie's brother is a thief. He's a liar. And if he could do all that, he'll take Boosie up out of here. We have seen it time and time again when it comes to business dealings and financial gain. People will ice you out, even your own bloodline. So I'm with Boosie on this. Stand on business. It's unfortunate that his mom wants them to get along. But your other son stole $10 million plus some from your breadwinner son who provided resources jobs and everything else and i get it boosie is really close with his mama but you got to stand on business the principles he wouldn't let it slide for somebody else so why should he let it slide because y'all simply share the same blood i think that is stupid and that's one of the reasons why a lot of black people in the community are not thriving because they're standing on we're our family when they should be standing on business because you wanted to get in business with me right now moving right along let's get into jindia i robbed some women of their baby making years dragging them along they built me up look at me now and look at them if you were creative, I folded you into my artwork. If you were in my artwork, I gave you a job. I gave you a job, I mastered your life. I gave you a house, food, everything you needed. I protected and provided for you. I did what men are supposed to do. You know, I remember different quotes I said, like just like really manipulative things to say like, no one's gonna love you the way I do. My God, I'm ashamed of it. And I, that's what makes me angry when I see my brothers do that. We can't do that to, to the women that have done so much for us to even exist. And I saw myself for the first time. All the things I'm saying now, ooh, horror. Bit by bit, I stripped myself of my former self. And I swore that the next relationship that I would get in, I will work as hard at love as I worked in my career. Woof, Bay Squad, this interview was everything to me. And y'all should definitely go check it out. Ugh, he did what needed to be done because so many of y'all are starting to open your eyes. So many content creators like myself have been telling y'all, have more than one, date the best, never commit to a man who won't commit to you. And here it took this beautiful, educated, smart, successful, fine, good hygiene man to tell y'all he was out here wasting these women's time 
and they allowed him to. Let's be very clear. They allowed it. And he said he wants to work on love the way he works on his music. Baby, he's not ready to settle down. And I told y'all, sometimes you have to sit back and listen. But I'm glad this beautiful, fine, educated African man told y'all what so many of us has been telling y'all for the past years on these platforms. Have more than one. Date the best. Don't commit to a man who refuses to commit to you. Don't break your vagina for a man who will not break himself for you. But how do y'all feel about it, Bay Squad? What are your thoughts? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.